pregame.com. Saturday night, Big Ten action here at pregame.tv. 6 p.m. Pacific start on ESPN. We've got Michigan and Indiana. We've got the game day crew that's going to be there in Bloomington. Nine words are going to wrap up this game, and here they are. one three one zone trap renders Cody Zeller average. If that's what happens, if Cody Zeller can't penetrate, make some noise against these Michigan bigs and that stingy, nasty defense that they play, then Indiana's not going to win this game. And, in fact, if he doesn't do it early and often and consistently or at least drive enough to kick the ball out, then I stole a line from Chick Hearn. It's going to be this game's in the refrigerator. The door's closed. The lights are out. The eggs are cool and the butter's getting hard and that jello's jiggling. Marco, what do you think? I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't resist that. You know, this game here, this Michigan team, they're playing great basketball, Scott. The only team, obviously they got one loss, but that one loss was to Ohio State. And if you look at Michigan and you look at the way they play, the last, you know, they like to play a little more up-tempo. I think if you can slow Michigan down, which Ohio State was, got them to play a game in the 50s, that's the way you're going to be able to beat Michigan. Now, if you're laying points with Indiana, you really don't want to be playing a game in the 50s to be covering the spread, and that's where right. the problem comes into this handicap. If you like Indiana, I think they got to slow it down to win it, but that presents some problems covering the spread. I don't know which way you're going in this one because this is your free pick, but I've got to lean to Indiana, but I just I don't like the points with them. I don't trust them. Yeah, two problems with Indiana for me is that they aren't the greatest basketball team on the defensive end when they step up in level of competition, including a recent home court game against Wisconsin in which they lost outright again for like the 30th year in a row. <laughs> against the Wisconsin Badgers. They don't create enough fouls. Also, their backcourt on the offensive end, and I mean this with respect, but I can't think of any other term to use when I talk about the Indiana backcourt. When that level of competition steps up, their jump court Charlies. I mean, did I say jump court? Jump shot Charlies. And that's where they fall into some problems because you can't have kickouts to open players if you're not driving the paint to kick it out. So there's a couple of things, and this is all relative. Indiana could go very deep into the NC2A tournament, but when you're talking about against a game or a team like this, that plays that nasty 1-3-1 one, one zone. It makes it tough uh, to win by margin. Now, the line as we speak, as we cut this on uh, Friday afternoon, Indiana's a four-and-a-half point favorite. Didn't come as high as I thought it would, but I still like Michigan, and let's get to that free pick right here. Love the Michigan guards, man, that tandem of Hardaway Jr. And then, of course, you got Nick Stoskis, who's hitting about 50% from area code three. You got arguably the best point guard in all of college basketball and Trey Burke, who's not only dishing out seven assists per game, he rarely turns the ball over. How about six turnovers in his last four basketball games? I just think there's a little bit too much siding with Michigan here. I like Michigan, plus the points, my free pick on this game. When we come back, we got a best bet from Marco D'Angelo. That's Nevada at New Mexico. Stick around for that and more right here at pregame.tv.